Hey, what's up, V-Squad? Welcome back to my channel. video you guys we will be talking about my weight loss journey okay you guys went ham and I want to thank you guys so so much the last video I did when I talked about my weight loss and me wanting to be the L and lipo 360 you guys really really showed out in them comments and really like just came through with support so I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart like you guys are freaking amazing I was a little nervous putting that video out but the way I came through and supported you, girl, like, girl, we got this. And some of you guys are on the journey with me. So, girl, we got this together, okay? You guys already know when I sit down and do my videos, I like to talk about hair and other things, you know. In today's video, I will be featuring I See Hair. I absolutely love I See Hair. You guys don't even understand. I have worked with them so many times. Each time... The hair is just perfect. This wig ain't even laid. Y'all probably see the lace and everything. I just didn't want to come on camera looking crazy. This time around, I did go ahead and pick out a bang wig. Like, it has bangs. I've never had a wig with bangs. I've always wanted to try bangs, but I never I never tried them. So, this wig is a straight wig. It comes in 22 inches. I will have the links for you guys and the specs on the screen. I've already seen this wig, you guys. If you're the type of person that likes simplicity, this wig is definitely for you. Like, I'm just telling you off for it. Usually, when I get my units I go in I look at them I see if I need to bleach the knots I see if it needs to be plugged all that even though I don't plug wigs and you know whatever I'm not a professional so when I went and pulled the wig out I looked underneath and girl there's no lace there's no lace so I was like uh, okay um yeah I can't bleach those that's that's not gonna work so <laughs> literally this is how the wig inside of the wig looks like it has like that I don't know wig cap type situation um, it has some clips on the side. It has a clip in the middle of the wig, in the back of the wig, and also has adjustable straps. So basically, this is a throw it on and go wig, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, it was super simple. This is what it looks like right out of the packaging. Like, it looks really good. Don't smell crazy or nothing like that. Here is the wig, honey. It is on. I might have to go in and cut the bangs. I don't know. I don't I'm not the type of person that likes like stuff all in like by my eyes and stuff. I really I really don't like that. So what I might end up doing is going in and thinning it out. Probably not in this video because I'm not really good at doing stuff like that on camera. But I might bump it a little bit. Maybe that will help. You guys are super impatient and y'all want to skip right to the weight loss talk, the BBL talk and all of that. I'll leave a timestamp here or here for you guys to go and check it out right away. So since I just took this out of the packaging, of course it looks bomb.com. But I want to go ahead and really make it silky bone straight. So I will be using my Irresistible Me Black Diamond Professional Hair Straightener, okay? I'll be using this in today's video. If you want to know information about the straightener, I'll leave it down below. Here's a little bit of information about the straightener. My first time using it, girl, so I'm a little nervous. As you can see, it's still in the package, but I'm sure it's going to be bomb because y'all know irresistible me got like really really bomb products let me go ahead and plug this bad baby up honey because i am so excited this is sexy look at this okay this is a flat iron this is cute i love that black and rose gold together the functions are in there hopefully you guys can see that so i'm gonna go ahead and power this bad baby up that is cute mommy okay so oh look like it's the thing is going i don't know why it's doing that i haven't even read the manual i think it's just turning itself up in today's video i did want to go ahead because i don't think the last time i talked about like my weight um and i didn't show you guys any body shots or anything so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my weight here on the side i use a um digital scale and it kind of goes to my phone every time i use it so i'll just show you guys the um screenshot of you know my recent weight so here is my body shots is really going to help me stay accountable i feel like when i tell you guys what's going on i always stay like accountable when i want to do something bad i'm like no i gotta make a video you know what i'm saying so i never you know i'll be messing up i ain't gonna lie but it don't be as bad as it usually be so lately i haven't really been um doing a lot of extra eating um there's been some things in my life you know what i'm saying that's kind of causing me not to eat as much um so i kind of lost not quite a bit of weight but 
I've lost some weight and some inches. Stress will do that to you, okay? But anyways, <laughs> I'm better now, okay? And I got my appetite back, and I don't know if that's a good thing. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, I want to keep this little weight that I lost off. Like, I want to recap. Let me make sure this is hot. I want to recap on my goals if you guys missed the last video I did. I will post it on the screen for you guys, or in the cards, rather. So you guys can go and check that video out. So mainly my goal right now, even before the surgery, before the BBL and everything like that, is just mainly to get my BMI down, which means losing weight. So I want to lose weight not only for the surgery, but I want to lose weight just to be healthy, just to be at a healthier weight, um, just overall, you know what I'm saying? So that's really my main concern because I am plus size. Um, getting a major surgery like that or just living a healthy lifestyle it's just important for me to kind of get down you know what I'm saying so that's basically my main main goal I want to lose I think I said about 50 to 60 pounds before I consider surgery or start working on getting surgery or whatever so yeah that's kind of like where I'm at right now I wouldn't say I'm at a standstill because I'm actually I'm working on it so um, you know, I got to get there first and then we can start planning, you know, the BBL and things like that, even though I've already started looking into certain doctors and things like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's my main focus is just getting to a healthier weight. I know for me personally, when I make things simple, especially a weight loss journey, I'm just more likely to succeed. That way I don't feel overwhelmed or like, honestly, for me too, you guys, I'm gonna just keep it real. When I start a weight loss journey, I feel like I get amnesia or something. Like, I just be forgetting how to do everything. Like, okay, what am I supposed to eat again? How, how am I supposed to work out again? Like, should I do cardio? Should I not do cardio? Like, I'll be all over the place. Like, forget it, you know, honestly, because I'm just, look, I can't think right now. I don't want to think right now. It's just too much. Sometimes it could be very overwhelming. Just, I'm just keeping it real. Been feeling throughout the couple weeks that I haven't made a weight loss update. Another thing is, I probably won't be doing these updates often. Maybe like every two weeks or every couple weeks. I'm not really sure how I want to do it just yet. But basically, I've been feeling good. Like, I haven't really been eating crazy, like I said. And if I do, I limit it, like, just a small bit. I'm the type, I can't go, like, cold turkey or else I just won't make it. So, um, using the app, using the meals off the app, you know, not really overdoing it when it comes to the things that I actually, like, you know, want, like, sweet stuff. If I want ice cream or something, maybe I'll do frozen yogurt and, you know, substitute it. Substitute it with something, like, more healthier, you know. So, that's just how I've been doing. I've been feeling amazing. I feel like I've been losing a lot of inches. A lot of people say my neck is getting long. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. That's kind of how I know when I'm losing weight. My face kind of gets smaller and my neck gets a little longer. Anyway, as far as, you know, health-wise and things like that. Um, and I'm just excited for the journey. I don't feel like I'm like, oh, I got some. I feel like I'm taking it slow. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in no rush because I know that I will get there. But, you know, um, once I'm there, honey, it's a wrap and we got things to do. We got moves to make. This is turning out so cute. Like I've always wanted to try bangs, but I was like, I don't know. I feel like it was going to look stupid on me or childish. Like I didn't know how it was going to look. But it's actually turning out really, really cute. And honestly, I have plans to do like a half up, half down with this. But I don't even know if I could do it because of like how the lace is in the inside. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like this is the only way I could kind of wear it. Maybe I'll do another video trying to attempt that look. I don't know what y'all think. Y'all think I should just leave it like this or try half up, half down? Like what y'all thinking? The wig fits on my head really, really nicely. I almost feel like it's almost a tad bit too tight, but I have it on like the, you know, closest hook. So that's probably why that is. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you guys are doing on y'all weight loss journeys. Don't be trying to just come in here and talk to me about mine. I want to know about yours too, okay? You ain't off the hook, sis, okay? I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.